Alan is 67. He's always been independent, active, and proud of the fact that he never needed regular medication. Apart from mild diet-controlled diabetes, he considered himself healthy. But over the past few months, something began to change. Every time he went for his usual walk to the nearby park, a dull, nagging pain crept into his right calf. At first, he brushed it off. Maybe it was just muscle strain, or perhaps his shoes were too tight. He would stop for a minute, stretch, and the pain would disappear. But as soon as he started walking again, it came right back. What Alan didn't realize was that his body was giving him a very specific warning. His arteries were becoming dangerously narrowed. When he finally saw his doctor, tests showed that the blood flow to his legs was severely reduced. Alan had what we call peripheral artery disease and his leg pain, known as intermittent claudication, was the first red flag. Left untreated, this condition can lead not only to pain and difficulty walking, but also to heart attacks, strokes and even limb loss. In today's video, I'll reveal the seven leg warning signs that could mean your arteries are dangerously blocked. The seventh one often surprises even experienced doctors so make sure you stay with me right until the end. Let's start by understanding what's really happening inside your body when these symptoms appear. Your arteries are like a network of flexible pipes carrying oxygen-rich blood to every part of your body. Over time, especially with risk factors such as diabetes, high cholesterol, smoking and inactivity, fatty deposits known as plaques begin to build up along the inner walls of those arteries. The passageway narrows, the blood can't flow as freely, and the muscles in your legs, particularly your calves, begin to run out of oxygen when you exercise. That lack of oxygen is what causes the deep, cramping pain you feel when walking. This isn't a problem of aging muscles, it's a problem of circulation, and the danger doesn't stop at your legs. If your arteries there are blocked, there's a good chance your heart and brain arteries are also affected. Peripheral artery disease affects roughly one in five people over 60, yet many remain undiagnosed because they mistake their symptoms for arthritis or simple tiredness. Recognizing the early signs can literally save your limbs and your life. So let's go through the seven warning signs to look out for. Number one, pain in the calves when walking that eases with rest. This is the classic symptom of intermittent claudication. It happens because walking increases the muscle's demand for oxygen, but narrowed arteries can't deliver enough. The pain typically starts after a certain distance, perhaps a few hundred meters, and disappears once you stop and rest. As the disease progresses, the distance you can walk without pain gradually shortens. Many people describe it as cramp, tightness, or a burning sensation. Unlike joint pain from arthritis, this discomfort is felt deep in the muscles and always improves when you rest. If this sounds familiar, don't ignore it. It's one of the earliest and most important clues that your arteries are struggling. Number two, leg pain that occurs even at rest, especially at night. When the blockage becomes more severe, blood flow may be so limited that your legs hurt even when you're lying down. People often notice it when they're in bed because gravity no longer helps blood reach the feet. Some find that hanging the legs over the side of the bed or standing up for a few minutes eases the pain because it allows more blood to flow downward. This rest pain is a sign of critical limb ischemia, a stage where circulation is dangerously reduced. If you ever experience persistent pain in your feet or calves that wakes you at night, it's important to seek medical assessment urgently. Number three, cold or pale feet compared with the other side. One of the simplest clues is temperature. When arteries are narrowed, less warm blood reaches the skin, so one foot may feel noticeably colder than the other. You might also observe that the skin turns pale or even bluish, especially when you elevate your legs. Sometimes when you lower them again, the color quickly flushes back to red or purple as blood rushes in. That's another classic sign of poor circulation. If you notice persistent differences in temperature or color between your legs or feet, don't assume it's nothing. Your body could be signaling that blood flow is restricted. 
Number four, hair loss or shiny, fragile skin on the legs. When blood flow to the skin and hair follicles decreases over time, subtle changes start to appear. You might notice the skin on your shins or feet looking smooth, thin, or shiny. The normal fine hair that covers the legs may slowly disappear and nails can become thickened or brittle. These changes don't happen overnight. They build up quietly, often mistaken for ordinary aging. But what they're really showing is that the tissues are no longer receiving enough nutrients and oxygen. Healthy circulation is what keeps the skin and hair vibrant. Without it, the body begins to economize, diverting blood to deeper, more vital areas. If you look down and see that your legs look oddly smooth or glossy compared with how they used to, take it as another signal that something might not be right underneath the surface. Number five, weak or absent pulses in your feet. Doctors routinely check pulses on the top of the foot and behind the ankle, the dorsalis pedis and posterior tibial arteries. In a healthy person, these pulses are easy to feel, a rhythmic reminder that blood is flowing strongly to the toes. When arteries narrow, those pulses become faint or even disappear. You can try this at home if you know how gently pressing just above the middle of your foot or behind the ankle bone. If one foot's pulse feels weaker than the other, or you struggle to find it at all, that's worth mentioning at your next checkup. A nurse or doctor can confirm it with a Doppler probe, a simple, painless test that measures blood flow. This is one of those small clinical signs that often reveals a big underlying issue. Weak pulses are an early clue that the narrowing is real and measurable even before severe symptoms develop. Number six, slow healing wounds or ulcers on the toes or feet. Perhaps the most visible and concerning warning sign is when even a small cut or blister takes far longer to heal than it should. When oxygen delivery is poor, the skin's natural repair process slows dramatically. A scratch that once closed within days might linger for weeks. Sometimes these wounds become dark or scabbed and infections can set in easily because the body's immune cells can't reach the area effectively. If left untreated, ulcers may deepen and affect the underlying tissue, occasionally leading to gangrene, where part of the tissue dies from lack of blood. That's the stage we desperately want to prevent. If you have diabetes, you're already at higher risk because small vessel disease compounds the problem. So never ignore a foot wound that's slow to heal or keeps reopening. It's far better to have it checked early than to face complications later. Number seven, numbness, tingling or weakness in the legs. When the nerves themselves receive inadequate blood supply, they begin to misfire. You might feel tingling, a pins and needles sensation, or a dull numbness that creeps up from the toes. Some people describe it as if their feet are wrapped in cotton or their legs feel heavy and unresponsive. Weakness when climbing stairs or standing for long periods can follow. This symptom can overlap with nerve damage from diabetes, but in peripheral artery disease, the pattern is often linked to exertion and improves with rest. Regardless of the cause, persistent numbness or weakness deserves medical review because it means your tissues and possibly your nerves aren't getting what they need. So those are the seven key warning signs. Pain on walking, pain at rest, cold or pale feet, shiny skin or hair loss, weak pulses, slow healing wounds and numbness or weakness. Each is your body's way of saying, I'm struggling to get blood through. Now, let's look at why recognizing these signs early matters so much. When we talk about blocked arteries in the legs, we're not just talking about discomfort. Peripheral artery disease is a marker of overall vascular health. It's often the first visible manifestation of widespread atherosclerosis, the same process that causes heart attacks and strokes. Studies have shown that people diagnosed with peripheral artery disease have up to a six-fold higher risk of cardiovascular events compared with those without it. That's why leg symptoms are never isolated. They're a window into your body's entire circulation system. Imagine your arteries as a tree. The main trunk represents your aorta and the branches supply your heart, brain, kidneys and legs. If one branch is diseased, chances are the others are under stress too. 
So treating this isn't only about saving your legs, it's about protecting your life. When peripheral artery disease progresses unchecked, blockages can become complete. Blood flow beyond the blockage drops to almost zero. Muscles starve for oxygen, the skin breaks down, and infection risk soars. In the most advanced stages, amputation may be necessary to save a person's life from spreading infection. These are devastating outcomes, but entirely preventable when intervention happens early. That's why recognizing even the mildest calf pain during walking is so important. It's your earliest opportunity to act before irreversible damage occurs. So please do talk to your doctor if you recognize any of these symptoms in yourself or your loved ones and share this video with anyone who you think would benefit from hearing it. Catching these signs early can really save your life. There are many reasons why your arteries can get into trouble. The most common conditions that accelerate this process are diabetes and high blood pressure. Two conditions that we have excellent treatments for. I have also done a video on ways you can bring your blood pressure down naturally, so do check this out on the top right. In my next video, I'll be going into a bit more detail on measures you can take to improve your leg circulation and, in turn, protecting your heart. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss it. And in the meantime, if you want to understand the warning signs of stroke, watch this.